Here are my five top tips for buying a house in 2023. Buying a house in 2023 could potentially be a challenge, but if you follow these five tips, this is something that will help you and guide you through the entire process of buying a house in 2023. The first thing you have to do is make sure you find a great agent. Make sure it's somebody who's knowledgeable, who will listen to you, who will answer all your questions. And you also have to be comfortable working with that agent. You are going to be spending a lot of time with that agent, looking at homes. You wanna make sure that you can have that conversation with that agent to be comfortable, to be able to say what you like, what you don't like, because at the end of the day, the agent is there to help you, guide you, and represent you to make sure that the process is simple, easy, and stress-free. The other thing you wanna do is get your down payment. Make sure that you have your down payment set aside. Uh, you don't really have to have a full 20% down, but that will help you with your mortgage payments. But 5% uh, and also your closing costs, this is something you make sure you do not wanna forget. There are closing costs uh, when you're buying a house, but the first thing is also make sure that you have your down payment set aside, ready for you when you're going to be closing on the property. The other thing you, will, you wanna do is make sure that you know what your credit score is. A lot of people out there have no idea what their credit score is, how things affect their credit score. Being knowledgeable about your credit score is something that you can work on if it's not quite ready there, ready for you yet to, to buy a house. But if you have an idea what your credit score is, you keep an eye on it, you can, you can do certain things to increase your credit score, things you have to take care of that might be on your credit score that shouldn't be there, things that have been taken care of that are still showing up. So make sure that you know what your credit score is, keep an eye on your credit score, because this is something you will need to have no matter what you're gonna be doing if you're buying a property. The number four uh, tip is get pre-approved. We talk about this all the time. Get your pre-approval, make sure you know that you can afford this, the properties you're looking for, or you're looking at. Make sure that you know once you start looking, if you find the house that's right for you, you can move on it right away. Getting pre-approved with those online calculators is not the way to do it. Go into your bank, talk to a mortgage broker, make sure that you get a true approval, pre-approval, because this way there are no surprises at the end if you're going through uh, the bank to get your financing. Pre-approved, you know what you can buy, you know what you can afford, you will avoid any kind of disappointment when you're looking at uh, a house. So knowing your credit score because your credit score also will affect uh, your pre-approval. So those are all things that you need to know before going to look for houses. Once it's all done, you have these four things figured out, it's time to go shopping. So do your homework, be prepared, know what you want, know what you need, and make sure you prioritize your wants and your needs. These are two separate things. You might want to have a double car garage, but if you find the perfect house that has just a single car garage, then it might be the house that you want to move on. So make sure that you know what the wants and the needs, because those are two separate things altogether. If the house has everything you need, and there's a few extra things that you want, that's even a bonus. But make sure your wants and needs are clearly identified, you know exactly what you're getting into, what you're looking for. It will make the buying process so much easier for you. If you have any questions about buying a house, selling a house, make sure you give me a quick call or you can always email me at jeanrichet at jeanrichet.com. Merci beaucoup et bonne journée.